My name is Dr. Nathaniel Rawicki. I'm a spine surgeon at the Spine Center of Baton Rouge, primarily serving the North Shore communities of Covington, Hammond, and Walker, and I have a particular interest in minimally invasive spine surgery. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about robotic spine surgery, what's changed in the last few years, how things have improved, and how we can offer that to you, particularly in the setting of the Covington hospitals and in that Covington community. One of the biggest benefits of a robot in spine surgery is preoperative planning. So the opportunity to take images, usually a preoperative CAT scan or CT scan, showing the really fine details of the bone, and to be able to take that information plug it into this robot system and plan your surgery so that you know every step that you as the surgeon are gonna make before you ever get into that operating room. This is not something where you're relying on technology, you're actually helping teach this technology how to properly serve each patient, each individual situation. And so in general, that robot will dock next to the patient and be placed in some sort of sterile covering to make sure that it is completely sterile and not contributing to any potential infection in the operating room. Then, basically, the simplest way to think about it is we tell that robot, which is really just an arm coming from a big box with a screen, and that arm is told where we want to place a screw or where we want to make something happen on the spine itself. So we could say, we want to put a screw on the left side at L4. We tell the robot, and basically what it does is it places a little guiding tube directly to where we planned out that screw and allows it to dock onto the bone. With the robot, what you can do is you can make a small incision where that pre-planned arm has gone, move the muscles to the side just in that area, and then allow that docking arm to place you right where you know you need to be based on your preoperative planning. What the robot allows us to do is limit the amount of dissection, the amount of moving of that muscle to get those landmarks, which if we were not using a robot and we didn't want to do those traditional techniques, would require things like radiation from an x-ray to make sure that we're limiting that exposure while still performing with the utmost accuracy. So what the robot's doing is it's allowing us to perform the minimally invasive techniques that we love to perform, but allowing us to do that while also limiting radiation and some of the few downsides of those minimally invasive procedures. It allows us to look at maybe slight subtle changes in your anatomy that may not be present in the next person. And so what the preoperative planning component of the robot does is it allows us to take those that data that we have, your anatomy specifically, and map out things. So that might mean that, hey, we can't do this specific task at this level on you, we can only do it on the next level or something like that. It might allow us to change the size of the screws to allow us to get the largest possible screw to get the best possible fixation to limit various risks that we might have. And so the opportunity to do that with pre-op planning really allows us to make this surgery about you, the only important person in this particular setting. So most people think robotic surgery is something only available to them if they live in a big city or something that they might have to travel far for. But if you're one of the people here in Louisiana and you're in that small community of Covington, you don't have to travel. We can offer you this same high level technology in your city, in your town, in Covington, Louisiana. And so if you might be interested in learning more about this, you can follow up with us on our website at spinecenterbr.com to make an appointment or give us a call.